This sound file contains a spoken version of a Wikipedia article on Deglaka, hoax, recorded by user Aspire CFVV. The material recorded is current as the 15th of July, 2020. Deglaka, hoax, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. Deglaka, German for the bell, was a purported top-secret Nazi scientific technological device, secret weapon, or Wunderwaffe, first described by Polish journalist and author Igor Wachowski in Prada or Wunderwaffe in 2000. It was later popularized by military journalist and author Nick Cook, who associated with Nazi occultism, anti-gravity, and free energy research. Mainstream reviewers have criticized claims about de Glocka as being pseudoscientific, recycle rumors, and a hoax. De Glocka and other alleged Nazi miracle weapons have been dramatized in video games, television shows, and novels. At the beginning, there is an image of ours impression of de Glocka. Contents. 1. History. 2. Popular culture. 3. See also. 4. References. 5. Further reading. Section 1. History. In his 2001 book, The Hunt for Zero Point, author Nick Cook identified claims about de Glocka as having originated in the 2000 Polish book Prada or Wunderwaffe, The Truth About the Wonder Weapon, by Igor Wachowski. Cook described Wachowski's claims a device called the Bell, engineered by Nazi scientists that was, quote, a glowing rotating contraption, end quote, rumored to have, quote, some kind of anti-gravitational effect, end quote, be a time machine or part of an SS anti-gravity program for a flying saucer called the Repulsine. Cook proposed that an SS official named Hans Kammler later secretly traded this technology to the U.S. military in exchange for his freedom. Cook's publication introduced the topic in English without critically discussing the subject. More recently, historian Eric Kurlander has discussed the topic in his 2017 book on Nazi esotericism, Hitler's Monsters, A Supernatural History of the Third Reich. According to reviewer Julian Strube, Kurlander, quote, cites from the Reservoir of Post-War Conspiracy Theories, end quote, and, quote, heavily relies on sensationalist accounts, mixing up contemporary sources with post-war sensationalist literature, half-truths, and fictitious accounts, end quote. This section is accompanied by an image of author Igor Wachowski. According to Salon reviewer Kurt Kleiner, quote, it's a story that strains credulity, but unless we're after cheap laughs or hope when we pick up a book like this is that the author will, against the odds, build a careful, reasonable, and convincing case. Cook isn't that author, end quote. Kleiner criticized Cook's work as, quote, ferreting out minor inconsistencies and odd, ambiguous details which he tries to pop up into proof, end quote. Characterized the process of valuing Cook's claims as, quote, untangling science from pseudoscience, end quote, and concluded that, quote, what is instructive about the book is the insight we get into how conspiracy theories seduce otherwise reasonable people, end quote. Skeptical author Robert Schieffer criticized Cook's book as, quote, a classic example of how to spin an exciting yarn based on almost nothing. He visits places where it's rumored that secret UFO and anti-gravity research is going on and writes about what he feels and imagines, although he discovers nothing more tangible than unsubstantiated rumors, end quote. Schieffer notes that claims about de Glocka are circulated by ufologists and conspiracy-oriented authors such as Jim Mars, Joseph P. Farrell, and anti-gravity proponent John Deering. Author Jason Colvito wrote that Wachowski's claims were recycled from 1960s rumors of Nazi occult science first published in Morning of the Magicians and describes the Glocka as, quote, a device few outside of fringe culture think actually existed. In short, it looks to be a hoax, or at least a wild exaggeration, end quote. Author Brian Dunning states that Morning of the Magicians helped promote belief in de Glocka and Nazi occultism, and its absence of a historical record make it, quote, increasingly unlikely that anything like it actually existed, end quote. According to Dunning, quote, all we have in the way of evidence is a third-hand antidotal account of something that's desperately implausible, backed up by neither evidence nor even a corroborating account, end quote. Author and historian Robert F. Dorr characterizes the Glock as, amongst, as among, quote, the most imaginative of the conspiracy theories, end quote, that arose in post-World War II years, and typical of the fantasies of magical German weapons often popularized in folk magazines such as the Police Gazette. Some theories circulate, circulate on internet conspiracy sites claim that de Glocka is located in a Nazi gold train that is buried in a tunnel beneath a mountain in Poland. Duncan Rhodes, editor of Nexus magazine, has pointed out that the Nazis on the Moonshrope is linked to wild speculations about Nazi anti-gravitational technology, such as Wachowski's de Glocka. Journalist Patrick J. Kiker, 
wrote that German propaganda of fictional wonder weapon combined with a secrecy surrounding actual advanced technology such as a V-2 rocket captured at war ends by the U.S. military helped spawn, quote, sensational book-length exposés, websites, and legions of enthusiasts who revel in rumors of science fiction-like weapons supposedly invented by Hitler scientists, end quote. According to Kiger, the Glocka is a popular example of such legends and speculation, citing former aerospace sciences, scientist David Mira's contention that if anti-gravity devices actually existed, the Germans, desperate to stop the Allies' advance, would have used them. Section 2. Popular Culture De Glocka and other purported Nazi wonder weapon have been dramatized in the video game series Call of Duty. De Glocka figures in the backstory of the 2006 James Rollins action-adventure novel Black Order. De Glocka was the focus of a 2014 episode of In Search of Aliens. De Glocka figures in the backstory of the 2013 A.G. Riddle action-adventure novel The Atlantis Gene. De Glocka is featured in the Assassin's Creed Conspiracies comic as a precursor of the Animus. The structures of Wenceslas Mine are featured in Series 3, Episode 6 of Abandoned Engineering on the UK TV channel yesterday. Igor Wachowski appears on the program and explains his theory about Deglaka. Deglaka is featured as a plot device in Season 4 of the 12 Monkeys TV series. Deglaka is mentioned in Season 1, Episode 2 and 3 of Hangar 1, The UFO Files. Section 3. See also. Kecksburg UFO Incident. Nazism and Occultism. Nazi UFOs. Section 4. References. There are references available in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or by cross-referencing the information yourself. Section 5. Further reading. This section includes two books. The Hunt for Zero Point, Inside the Classified World of Anti-Gravity Technology, written by Nick Cook in 2001. The Truth About the Wonder Wolf written by Igor Witowski in 2001 and translated by Bruce Wenham in 2003. This sound file and all text in the article licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported License, available at creativecommons.org.